What a sky, people. What beautiful nature with the moon here, the waning moon. so clear look at this sky people look at this sky look at the reflection in the water don't you love it hey people start sharing that <laughs> tell your friends don't miss this sky here in Galilee this morning you can't miss it And our readings are just absolutely off the charts this morning. That was Soter over there agreeing. But Soter, Soter is under house arrest. <laughs> Oh, I can see Mount Hermon. Look here, uh, and you can see it too. <clears throat> Look at, and there's the Mount of Beatitudes on the right of the screen with the plastics. Now trace back left up to the top, and you can see Mount Hermon peeping out over the top. We might get a better view a little further south from here. We're going to just start walking now. This is amazing. This is amazing. Don't you love it? One day you have to go back to the early stages of the Instagram. I'm not sure when it was. I think it was at the end of December 2017. It's very fast with Instagram. What you can do is you see all the pictures together when you go into a person's account. And then with your thumb, you can scroll down real fast before opening anyone. And you're going to see a sky where the, there was cloud all over the sky. All over the sky. Not one right now. And then you, you, um, You'll see it was like a day or two after Christmas Day. I think it was 2017. And the whole sky went red just like we're seeing it now. The whole sky went red. A it was just absolutely amazing. And Soda was there too. She was, I was gone out to swim and she was, um, she was barking along the the show. Oh, look at there, we got some red up there. Look at that, over the mountains of Lebanon. You know, you change angles, you change your position a little bit, you can get another view of the world. Sometimes we need to leave our kitchen and just read what's going on. There was a lovely piece of news yesterday. It's a, a Spanish report I saw in Zenit News Agency and it was a reconciliation between the leader of Venezuela and the leaders of the church. I honestly must say that I haven't read all the article. I just skimmed really fast through it. And uh, a reconciliation, you know. People have to change their spot sometimes to realize. Sometimes we have ideologies in our head that block us understanding reality. But even just changing our spot physically, you can see Mount Hermon better. And you can see the red over the mountains of Lebanon. We have to change our spot sometimes to understand a family feud, you know. To understand the interest of the others. That famous American expression of the Native American peoples of walking in the other person's moccasins for a mile. And then you can understand a lot more about how they are and what they're doing. A culture of encounter to meet the other. And this is an extraordinary thing that happens also in the readings today. 
because there's a real encounter. There's a lot of hotheads. <laughs> a lot of people want to do it their way. Okay, okay, welcome to humanity. But there's an encounter and they meet each other and they listen to each other. You know, first reports come in from Paul and Barnabas and the work up there in Antioch and in Asia Minor and all these Gentiles accepting sacred scripture, accepting Jesus, accepting a new way of life. And at the same uh, time, then there are people reacting completely against and saying, no way, no way, no way, it can't be, can't be, can't be. It has to be our way, the way we did it always. Okay, well, let's sit down and see what's essential and see what's the situation. And it's interesting that after Peter gave his witness saying, look, it's okay to discuss this. Peter gave consent to discuss this. It happens today, people, it happens today. People gave, Peter gave his consent to discuss this. And they discussed it. And now there was a calm, and now Paul and Barnabas could tell all their story. But sometimes we can't listen to the story of the others while our ideas are dominant about where the vacation has to be, about the color we're going to paint the kitchen, about where the toothbrush goes. You know, the conflict can be anything about nothing. It can be a, a cold war or a hot war. And it's about trivia, comparatively speaking. Hey guys, those of you who come in later, just look up here and see the moon. Look at that. The waning moon. I, I haven't been able to get the moon this clear in when it's, when it's just a portion of it as we are seeing it right now. And of course, as we commented yesterday, the, the um, end of this moon as it uh, declines completely will be the end of Ramadan. And there's a text there about a greeting for fraternity, to meet the other, to talk with the other. It takes open hearts because sometimes there are hot heads and it's not easy. So now you can actually see Mount Hermon a little bit clearer, not so much, but a little bit. Let me get you in the picture here. Look, there's Mount Hermon sticking up behind uh, these lower hills. You can see quite a lot of it now. So we're going to head across here, across the Mississippi. This is the Magdalene, Mississippi. Yesterday we were talking about the vine and the branches. You know, every single tree is that kind of structure. You see, it's, yeah, it's hard to get it clear, to get the moon clear there. By the way, when I came back here yesterday, after we were done, all these flowers that were closed up were completely open. I actually took a picture that I meant to post it, but I forgot to. Maybe I'll post it in a comment today if somebody reminds me. And then you can see the difference. And it happens like within an hour, these flowers will be completely open. But you probably know that you have your own flowers in your kitchen, in your backyard, in a flower pot. And you see how they open and close. It's good for us to pay attention to these little realities of, of, of nature, of God's love. Even the flowers go to sleep. You know, you can put down that, that uh, you don't have to be watching the television all the time. Turn into your heart and this, 
be in company with our Creator, with our Lord, and have a good chat. And the more we mature in life, we should be able to have more and more a good chat. And today's Gospel is very much about what we were saying yesterday about the, the vine and the branches. It doesn't use those words, but it's the same content. And there are two very beautiful, big, big statements. And one is simply that uh, if we want to stay united to the main stem of the affair, you know, the main stem of reality, of the reality of our faith, and we're talking now to all those who believe in Jesus, we need to be united to him. And that union uh, brings us into the union with the Father. Because that's what he did. He came to teach us to open the way for the to the Father. I am the gate. I am the good shepherd. To shepherd us back, you know? Lost sheep. And... And the, one of the core pieces of that is, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And my commandments are for your joy. Sometimes because the experience of children with their tantrums and the parents ask them to do this a different way and the, parent, the, ch the children lose it, you know, they say, no, that's a huge... My parents, what they're telling me is not for my good, as if the parents would do something to hurt the child, you know. That's the big temptation of the very first time humanity met God, you know. No, God knows much better. He's really conning you. And God's commandments are for our good, for our joy. The Mount of Beatitudes, blessed the peacemakers. Be a peacemaker, not a, a person of conflict tearing down the other. And you will be joy. You will, you will be a joy for the world, for your family, for your neighbors. hard for us. We all have to kind of learn that, don't we? We have that saying in our, you know, it's a wise person that learns, was it? It's anybody can learn from the mistakes. How does, how does that go? There's something uh, to learn from our mistakes. Ah, everybody can learn from their mistakes, but it's a wise person who learns from the mistakes of others. Hey, look at that animal here. What's that? Can you see it? Is that an alien? I actually filmed the other evening, uh, and I just don't know the name. Maybe it's like an otter or something. There was this guy, he had a long tail, fat tail, longer than his own body, and he went out to eat um, some vegetation. And I was able to stay there a lot. I didn't move and he didn't realize that I was there. If he did, it didn't bother him. And I got that on video. Real up close. So this guy looks a little bit like that guy, but he's doing, making great speed. He must be on an errand. Maybe he's the UPS delivery for, for those guys. What do you call them? Otters and beavers and in that category, I think. There's lots of broken reed over there, and sometimes they build little spaces for themselves. So we're, we're coming to the end of the color here. And it's just been a, a gorgeous morning. Can you hear all the birds?
Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. And at the end of the gospel text today, we have this beautiful, beautiful words. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. You know, the, the branches, they're not hanging out there on their own. They're connected. Branches on the vine, connected to the roots. It's all one big body. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. What a beautiful progression you will remain in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete a little um, just explanation to all those who joined after we began we began this morning early because there was this incredible red sky and I encourage you to go back and check it out and share it with your friends it was just so so beautiful uh, may the Lord, good Lord bless you and keep you and we'll see you later it's just the great beginning to a new day hello there <laughs> we didn't get that far physically and walking but this is a very rich morning and so we'll have the sunrise now I hope in a few minutes on Instagram God bless you